If your website server is being overwhelmed by a lot of spam traffic from a particular country, you can block that country from accessing your WordPress site. This is called geoblocking. In this video, we show you how to geoblock using plugins and how to do it manually for free. But first, let me welcome you to our channel. Our team has built multiple successful plugins that manage more than a million sites. And here, we help you find your website mojo through weekly videos to fix website issues and improve your website performance. Hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out. All right, let's get into it. Number one, using a WordPress plugin to block a country. Malcare is our in-house pride and joy. It allows you to block countries' IP addresses in WordPress with just a few clicks, right from your dashboard. The big advantage here is that you can access the other diagnostic tools like login and traffic logs to help you determine which countries need blocking. Let's take a look at how you can implement geo-blocking on your WordPress using Malcare. Number one, install and activate the plugin, then go to the Malcare dashboard from the left sidebar on your WP Admin dashboard. Go to the site screen and use the checkbox to select the site you want to modify. Then click on Manage to open a drop-down with options. Select Geoblocking to proceed. From the drop-down menu, select the countries you want to block. You can select as many countries as you want to and each one will appear at the bottom of the screen. Click on Block Countries to complete the process. The advantage of geoblocking in WordPress this way is that you don't have to input country IP addresses manually or jump through a lot of hoops to implement this. To reverse blocking, go back to the geoblocking screen and remove the countries from your block list. IP to Location Country Blocker Go to Add New and look for IP to Location Country Blocker. IP to Location Country Blocker requires the IP to Location bin database to work. Set up your database now. Click on Set up your database. Now the service will ask you for a download token in a dialog box. Simply sign up on their website and you'll receive a download token in your email. Paste it in the dialog box. After that, you can block by country, by proxy, you can blacklist particular IPs and whitelist particular IPs as well. You can even block particular bots and crawlers if you want. Click on Enable Frontend Blocking and enter the country names below. Click on Save Changes and you're done. But I wouldn't recommend it simply because it is a whole plugin dedicated simply for IP blocking, whereas you can get a full security solution with Malcare. Number two, blocking country IPs using HT access file, which is the manual method. I absolutely do not recommend this for two reasons. Firstly, you have to make changes to the HT access file, which is a critical core file. And if you mess up one letter, it can end up breaking your site. Secondly, manual geo blocking means you need to have a reliable range of IP addresses for countries to add to the file, which you need to keep updating, which is a really tedious and time-consuming process. However, if you are still interested in this method, please take a fresh backup of your website. This step will save you a ton of grief should anything go wrong. We recommend trying out our in-house product blog board because we offer bulletproof backups with a click. And you can get a free trial by clicking on the link in the description. All right, let's now get into geo-blocking a country manually. Step one, create an access control list with the IP ranges of the specific countries you want to block. You can use services such as IP to location and country IP blocks to do this. Step two, choose a country you want to block from the drop-down list and generate an IP list. Step three, choose the HT access deny option for the output format. The service will generate a text file with the IP addresses. Step four is to insert the list into your HT access file. Open the HT access file from the public HTML directory, either through cPanel or using FTP. Step five, copy paste the contents of the text file into your HT access file and save it. Keep in mind, you have to keep manually updating this list every time a new IP address pops up from that country and you want to block it. Also, a single error in the database could result in something drastic or something getting blocked when it shouldn't. One disclaimer about geoblocking. Now, whether you use a plugin for geoblocking or do it manually, you should know one thing. Geoblocking itself is an imperfect solution to blocking spam or malware from one location. Even with all this effort, hackers can simply use proxies or VPNs to still hassle you. Also, evidence shows that Google Ads can penalize sites with geoblocking. Many users have reported seeing their ads disapproved after restricting traffic from other countries. IP blocking countries can also affect Google ranking because blocking like this can also block Google bots from crawling your website. You could even block yourself. It sounds stupid, but it happens a lot. There have been many cases where website owners have been blocked from their own websites because of how imprecise this technique is. Reversing this self-block is a very complicated process, so it is better to avoid it. Finally, if you block out the country you think is the cause of the malware infection, you are willfully ignoring the fact that malware is universal and it can come from anywhere. So this is pointless to do. It's much better to rely on a complete security plugin with a powerful firewall like Malcare. Here are two useful videos that will help you out. Comment below if you're stuck anywhere and I'll try my best to help you. Do hit that like button if you found this video helpful. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.